Welcome back. Guess what we're doing today? We're going to continue learning about magnets. That's right. And right here, I have one of the coolest things that I've ever built with a magnet. It's a levitating, well, it's a floating, spinning, battery powered pencil. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. And the thing is, is it's battery powered, <laughs> but the batteries aren't connected to anything. So how is it working and how is it spinning? Well, it's really easy. This here has a magnet on top of it. And that magnet is attracted to that magnet. In fact, they are set up so that they have opposite poles looking at one another or facing one another. Those opposite poles are attracted to one another the magnetic field sitting right there allows this to actually spin. Both magnetic fields are interacting and it's causing this pencil to be able to stand up straight. We can look at that a little bit differently also if we look at a traditional bar magnet. This is a bar magnet. It has a north pole and a south pole. Magnets have two poles. And what's really cool, if I were to snap this in half, it would create a new north and a south pole automatically. And we can use these two bar magnets to look and see how these magnets behave. So I have a red side, which is the north, looking at the blue side. And what happens is when I bring those two together, the opposites are attracted to one another. When I bring the light poles together, it pushes it away. Now, it doesn't slide very well because of friction. Good thing I have these little magnets with little wheels on them. So check this out. Let's move some of this out of the way. Here I have two little race cars. I have the north end and the south end. When I bring those two together, they pull together, opposites attract. When I bring the like poles together, <laughs> likes repel and we can see that again that's super cool so we can use this idea of magnets to have some fun and one of the things is like i said before magnets produce a magnetic field even though it's invisible like we saw with this even though it's invisible whoops that's why i have my notebook set up so i gave it a little bit of extra space there we go the magnetic field is invisible but the magnetic field allows us to still put things through. Like that's paper, here is wood, sort of like a pencil. Then I have this pipette. It doesn't disrupt the magnetic field, it continues to work. But if I take something like iron, it disrupted the magnetic field, but not enough and this kept standing up. That was really cool. So what's really neat is this magnetic field, although invisible, is there and we can actually use this to do some art and you're like what artwork with magnets absolutely one you can build a sculpture Let's see here we got two iron nails a, a steel washer there we go See how high we can make that. So we've got iron nails, steel washer, and steel actually has iron in it. And then if we want to, we can build like little arms coming off. Maybe, depends on how strong this is. Oops. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's kind of a sad looking sculpture. He's like, Hello, people. Hello, scientists of the world. Oh, he's feeling really smart. Look at that. He's like, what's up? You ready to do some more art with science? Yes, please. All right, so you can build a sculpture. Use, you can build a sculpture using magnets, which is really cool and fun. Or you can use some iron filings. Now, iron, nickel, cobalt, those things are all attracted to magnets. All right, so... I have these iron filings in it and I'm spraying them all over the place. What you wanna do is you're gonna need a couple of things to do this. You're gonna need some blank paper. You're gonna need a Sharpie. And I have this 
um, protective sleeve where you put paper in it, some tape, and you don't have to have this, but I have a clipboard and I'll show you why I'm gonna use it. What we're gonna do first is we are going to dump a whole bunch of iron filings into our bag. That might be too much. All right, that'll work. And what we're gonna do then is we're going to take a piece of tape. I have owl tape. Who would have thought? We're gonna take some tape Make it about eight and a half inches long, which is the width of this. I'm just gonna put this over the edge so that it doesn't have iron filings flying out all over my house. And then I'm gonna close it off. Perfect. Now that's sealed, and I have these iron filings in here. Now we said it before magnets have a magnetic field. So when I put this here, I should be able to move iron filings. Now some of you might be wondering, how is this art? Well, here's the next step. You're gonna take some paper and you're gonna try to draw either your face <laughs> or a family member's face or a friend's face, but without any facial hair. So just eyes, nose, shape of a head and a mouth. So here we go, let's give it a try. I wonder if I should put the eyes on there. I'm make some teeth. I need my ears. I am gonna put eyes because it looks. And I'm gonna make. A... <laughs> Ta da! It looks just like me, doesn't it? <laughs> but I'm missing hair, I'm missing my mustache. And you might be wondering, well, what's gonna happen here? Well, this is where the art comes in. We're gonna take what we just learned about magnets. We know that magnets are attracted to iron. We have a whole bunch of iron filings. We're gonna take our protector sheet. Uh-oh, oh, I have a hole in it. Oh. All right, so make sure that the one you have doesn't have a hole in it. I'm just gonna take a little piece of tape, cover this up. I can't believe I have a hole in there. That's all right. See, totally fixed. All right, so we have iron filings all over the place. Let's set that up again. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our protector, put it over our face, just like this. And I'm gonna use the little clipboard to hold it in place. The reason I'm gonna use the clipboard to hold it in place is just so that when I have it on the table, I can move things really easy and it'll keep kind of everything connected. And now what you do is you take a magnet. It can be a circle magnet. It can be a bar magnet. Whatever you have at the house. If you have a refrigerator or magnet, it should do the trick as well. And then I'm going to take iron filings and I'm gonna move them on top of the drawing to design my character. So let's give it a try. Looking good. I know I need some eyebrows. All right, so I'm gonna use this bar magnet also because it has a more narrow tip. It's kind of more pointed. I'm hoping I'll be able to move less. Yes, it's not reacting with. Oh, look at that. Look at my eyebrow. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm gonna use this magnet to move it up because it moves a lot better, it's stronger. And then I'm gonna use this. All right, kind of heavy on the eyebrow, <laughs> just a little bit, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that right now. All right, and then I'm gonna pull. 
I'm gonna I need a mustache. I am gonna get it move some of this away. Alright, now I gotta straighten that. Oh look at that! I need a little bit of a goatee. Get as much away off the face as I can. Oh my goodness. That is spectacular magnetic art. I've got a little bit of work to do. So I'm going to encourage all of you to have some fun doing your art. <laughs> he looks so mad. He's like, Oh, why'd you make me look like that, Mr. C? I don't have spiky hair. But what I think I need to do is I think I need to make the drawing smaller so that I can work with the hair and make it more wild. But that's the cool thing about this. When you're done, I hate to get rid of this. I hate to get rid of it, but when you're done, all you have to do is this. And you start over, you have a blank slate to work with. It's like art that never ends. Oh, that is so much fun. You have to give this a try. You have to let us know if you love doing this. Encourage your friends and family to do it with you. This is so much fun. All right, we've got more videos on the way. Take care. It's all about getting smarter. All right, bye guys.